everyone Wakar here and with a new updated video about how to save Shopify contact form in Google Sheets so there's been a change uh, which prevent anyone from saving their contact uh, data contact form data into Google Sheets using my method uh, which has been live for a few years so in 2023 um, I figured out Google made some changes for which you have to uh, make additional steps in order to set up your Google Sheet properly. So today I will walk you through how to do that. It's pretty simple. I'm going to walk you through uh, with a new sheet. And um, if anyone have problem um, with an existing sheet, they can simply um, follow the step two, which I will just show you how to and then they will be fine as well so moving forward i have a contact form here on this page okay right now it's not linked to any sheet um here's the source code um i already deleted this sheet uh, sheet so i'm gonna add a new url here okay so first i'm gonna create this uh, new test sheet okay and secondly i need exact same variants uh, like uh, your name your phone email comment in order to store them in my google sheet i already explained that in my original video how to do that so i'm gonna simply copy these column names just right here okay so we should be good i do not have to copy paste them or basically type them all so that's saved so next step is to uh, copy this code from this file uh, from my github repository and you need to copy this um, explanation about how to do that is in that video but uh, let's do it with the new updated google documentation so you have to click on extensions and go to apps script I'm going to do that and it's for this new test sheet right now okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace everything right here I'm going to rename it to something like new test sheet exactly same as the sheet one just to make things easier for me okay I saved that now I need to uh, basically click on that setup and I'm going to run this function. It's going to ask me for some permissions, which I'm going to allow. Review permissions, click that. It will ask you for your Google account permissions. In case if it if it asks like it's not google hasn't verified this app click on advance and go to new test sheet unsaved click allow and there you go execution has been uh, already started so next step is to um, that's the main step you have to do it very carefully click on deploy new deployment and click on the gear icon click on web app and give it a description if you want to select your web app uh, execution as and from who has access you need to choose every anyone that's very important okay and click on deploy in previous video when you do that uh, you just simply copy the url which has been given here in the web app but we are not going to do that because that's not working anymore so once that done you have to click on deploy again and you have to click on either new deployment or you can click on manage deployments i'm going to go with new deployment again and this time i'm going to click on gear icon and i'm gonna click on api executable okay and you have to choose who have has access to any one that's very important okay and then click on deploy and this time just simply copy this url from here go to your source code paste it there okay 
save your source code in Shopify theme. Once that done, go to your contact page front end, test some lead and make sure it's working. I'm gonna go back into the sheet and there you go. We have test, test email and test everything working fine. I can do another test, which is test two, submit contact. And there you go, everything is working. Let me know if you have any questions. I will uh, update you guys as soon as possible. Thank you so much, have a nice day, bye.